Like I've already told you, yeah, I'm concerned is to highlight what the 12 bar blues is to jazz. There are so many ways of playing Yam Pansan. It has been played several times in several ways by so many guitarists. It has been used in so many songs. But today I'm going to teach you the best or the proper way, but the easiest way out to play it. We are using only six chords. The first chord you need to know about is C7. The second chord is a D minor 7 chord. The third is an A minor 7 chord. The fourth is an F6. The fifth is an F. The last one is a J dominant 7 chord. So we are using just some 6 chords. How you going to pick it with the right hand is what is going to bring that unique rhythm. In most high life rhythms, we use B and I, the Porga and the Indicio. When you are on C dominant 7, you can decide to play the 5th and the 2nd at the same time, or you can decide to play them separately. That's the first thing. So we have pi, P and I. So I call it pi. Pi, four, three, five, two. Pi, four, three, five, two. That is the picking you need to learn. Because when you go to the other chords, it's the same picking. What the thumb plays is what will change. So from C dominant seven, pi, four, three, five, two, and I go to to a D minor seven chord, and I play four, three, five, two, four, three, five, two, four, three, five, two. Then I just move one finger up to an A minor seven chord, and I play four, three, six, two, four, three, six, two, four, three, six, two, four, three, six, two. And I go to an F6. But the uniqueness of this chord is where the thumb is. The thumb, I repeat, the thumb lies on the sixth string this way. On the F. And the picking is 4 3. 4 3 with the, with the pinky on the second string. Then you release the pinky again to, to get the natural or traditional F. If you are able to beat this place, you are gone. So together we are going to have 4, 3, 6, 2. Then I, I repeat 4, 3, 6, 2. But this time without a pinky. Then the last part is on a J dominant seventh. But this is how I played. Four, three, six, three, four. Then you play the six again. You hammer on the B. Four, three, six, three, four. Six. Then I hammer on the fourth string. Really? 
الحمد لله اني ثبيت وعليك سيف the same processes again. That's all. I'm going to give you a neck diagram below my fingers and I will show everything clearly on that. Yam Pansan to learn because you can hear the middle part, the treble part, and the bass part. Yes, you can, you can hear the underlying melodic bass. <laughs> bell so the moment we upload any new video you don't miss it and if you are looking for a one-on-one -on -one online lesson or zoom lesson with me you can pick the numbers on the screen whatsapp me or give me a call and let's start it many are doing it so don't let them leave you behind listen to this next and try to absorb it next time on Yam Ponsa I'm going to show you some of these links
Thank you.